walking. Oh, by the way, it is not just right versus right on this immigration thing. It's left versus left, too. Democrats under fire today for an immigration plan of their own that includes requiring every worker in the country to carry a national ID card. The biometric cards would store personal information, including fingerprints, on a microchip. Immigration attorney Ada Pozzo calls the plan un-American. Um, this is a little strong, but what do you make of it? The entire plan, I don't believe, is un-American. What I believe is un-American is to just focus on, if we're going to do the ID card, without comprehensive immigration reform. But what if you just, let's just focus need... on the ID card. I mean, sure. I could see the logic in, if everyone had it, then there's no disputing it. And if you don't have it, then, then you're not supposed to be here. Right. Well, in theory, that sounds great. But we got to look at the practice of it. And we're not just talking about immigrants. We're talking about 150 million United States citizens that are workers here that are going to have to get this card, that are going to have to pay for this card. We're talking about the employers that even if they just employ one person are going to have to have a device which costs approximately $800 to read these cards. And it's going to be a logistical nightmare. And I believe that we're being a little bit overly ambitious by creating this plan that we don't really know how it's going to work. And it's only going to affect, not only affect immigrants, but we're talking about us, American U.S. citizens being affected. Yeah, but, but if I'm you think saying. about it, I could see your point, Ada, but if you think about it, had we had something like this in place before 9-11, um, the, uh, some of these hijackers would have been picked up before uh, their date with destiny, right? But we don't have to just look up prior to 9-11. We've got to look at what happened after 9-11. We did these watch lists, which we thought would be so great. And think of all those people that got put on the watch list incorrectly and can't get themselves off. If only 1% of the American workers were incorrectly identified, that would be about 1.5 million people. Pop, roughly the population of Philadelphia who'd be unable to work that are United States citizens and not be able to get themselves off these lists as so many people who are on these terrorist watch lists. But, but Ada, wouldn't it be cheaper than taking eight, but, uh, uh, wouldn't it be cheaper than taking 18 million illegals presumably here and making them citizens or granting them amnesty or the other way kicking them out? Well I think as a country if we're coming down to just looking at what's cheaper and not what's right that's would be pretty sad. I mean, that's not what we're well, about. Um, we have all these people I mean, that have been here for over 10 years. This is oftentimes about taxes. money, too. I mean, they're, they're draining us, well, right? And, and in Arizona, to... they're draining them to the point of having to do what some said was a draconian measure to, to crack down on this. So money does come into well, this, right? Arizona is trying to use state law to regulate federal law. So that's a whole other issue. Well, Arizona is trying to is do what the federal law and the lawmakers are not doing, right? Well, that's the argument. That's the one side to look at it, yes. All right, so yes, you don't like this. These cards would be bad because they violate freedoms or they're just a pain in the butt? Both. Both, whichever way you want to look at it. I do believe that they violate freedoms. I think that it's, it was... I applaud the Democrats for bringing the Republicans to the table on immigration reform by including this as part of it. However, But they might have divided their ranks, issues. right? Democrats might have divided their very ranks, right? If we were, possibly, and that's, you know, time will tell. We'll see how, how things pan out. This was just brought up, you know, All late right. yesterday, and we'll see how, what time will tell, what happens with it. But I think that we have to look at it globally and not just think of implementing the card by itself, because that, I believe, would be, cause grave consequences and would be terrible for the country. Well, maybe just give everyone on the globe a card. Reform. Everyone on the globe gets a card. All right. So um, if we just give the cards right. and we use them for, we give the cards to only United States citizens and we like that, well, let's look at Arizona and we tell everybody who's not as legally that it's illegal to breathe in the state, then somebody in Arizona who's an illegal immigrant who's a right. victim of a crime is going to be afraid to call the police. I mean, we, we have to do something. The immigration system is broken. We all know it and we have to do something to fix it. Right. Whether the card is going to be part of it or not, time will tell. I didn't understand that last part of it, but it was so brilliantly said on your part that now I'm, I'm now I'm Well, mad. thank you. Um, Ada, thank you very, very much. <laughs> All right, up next, you, we got pleasure. the lawmaker who just compared Arizona's tough immigration law to the Gestapo. Why he said it and does he regret it? Why don't I let him tell it? And first, the spill, now the chill.